I'll be going over OData and how to set that up in your FileMaker file. It's rather simple and easy once you get the hang of it. However, it requires you to have a FileMaker file that is hosted somewhere. Now, the first thing you need to do in order for OData to even be possible to be used on your file is to go to Manage, go to Security, and go to the user that you're using or admin, go to Advanced Settings, then you go to Extended Privileges, and the one big thing you need to do is set permissions for both your FileMaker file and your server in order for OData to even function with the file. Now, the two things that you need to set up are FMREST and OData. And all you have to do is double click and then activate all of these accesses for both this and FMREST. That's all you need to do with your FileMaker file. For now, we could just put it off to the side. The second thing we need to do is make sure that the server will allow OData or is using OData to be more exact. So going into your server, you should check connectors. You see how there is an OData tab. Select it and all you have to do is click this right here and it'll enable it. And that's all you have to do for your server and file for OData to function with it. Now. How will we access this data using OData? There are several different ways, but the way that we are going to do it today is getting Tableau public. It's an easy free download that if you look up, you will find and put a link below. Now, Tableau public, as you can see here, has a to a server and it has OData right there, right underneath it. All you have to do is click it. And now this is where it gets a little tricky. Essentially, the server you need to set up is this is the actual server you're hosting it on. FMI, it will always be that way. It'll always be OData and version 4. If there's ever a version 5, then it, this would be v5. But for now, put v4. And then put the FileMaker uh, name on the end of it. Now, authentication the password and username that you added the permissions earlier, sign in, and bam, you have access to all your tables within the FileMaker database. So let's say we wanted to get clients, and now it will show every single field within the client table. Super useful. Add another. If you go down here to the very bottom where it says Sheet 1, Click it. And as you can see there in your table that you have selected, the, here are all your fields. So let's say we wanted to grab first name. Now it has every single first name in the entire FileMaker file you have. Now last name, and let's say we want the primary address. Chose all three of these without the need of actually touching the FileMaker file. Now. That's neat and all, but what if I wanted to edit Hill or Peter or anything of that nature? Well, that requires us to have webhooks, which can be a little convoluted, but easy once you get the use, get the use and understanding of them. Now, what we're going to use for webhooks is Zapier. Zapier is free. It allows you to create an account. I'd recommend it too. And after you log in, set that up, then you can create a zap. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to set up different types of OData requests that you can do for your FileMaker file. The four that exist is get, patch, post, and delete. Some more straightforward than others. Now, let me go through how you would set up a get, essentially getting the data that you want to get that have either the similar primary key or the field. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. Now, for every single one of these, we're going to have to set a trigger. Now, to do that with FileMaker, we have to connect to Salesforce. 
And essentially, whenever you select Salesforce, a window will pop up and require you to select production or sandbox. Choose production. Next thing, get a uh, free trial, make an account, and then log in. And that's all you have to do here. It'll get to your account. Don't worry about the trigger or the test. Now, the next thing you need to do is, in the action, change it to webhooks Zapier. And for Git, this requires a custom function. As you can see, it has Git here. However, with OData, it requires us to create a custom request. Now, in the action itself, you need to select Git, pretty straightforward. Then in the URL, you have to set up the server name, the same thing we did with Tableau, which is FMI OData v4, then the file maker file name, and then we select the table we want to get from. And then in parentheses, if you don't want to get every single client or every single data in the client, uh, then put in the in here, put in the primary key. Now, when you put in the primary key, depending on what data you want to grab from, you can get more specific, of course. And then put this as false. No data needs to be put since this is a get. Uh, unflattened yes. And then basic authorization, this is an example. You do admin and then the password and then separate it with a pipe. The next thing you need to do is add a single header of the content type so that it will actually return a JSON. Now, allow me to show you with this test. Say we were getting a request and we want to test it. It's the same as before, except this one has select first name. Of course, this will get the data you need in a JSON format. It'll get first name, last name, date of birth, primary address, so on and so forth, depending on who you're looking for and what table. Now, you can do this with, with post. Say you wanted to create a new um, new data in your FileMaker file. All you have to do is set up post. You do the same trigger as before. You go to post, you go to the actions, then you set it up the same as before, and then you just say what table you're creating it in. Say the payload type is JSON, but you can obviously make it into a form, an XML, or you could just give you raw data. And then with data, you have to do the actual name of the data as we have first name and then the actual data you want to insert. Do it for everything you want to add. No wrap request in the array. Unflatten yes. Same admin and password. Essentially username and password. So you can log in, continue. Then when you test it, it should display it after the new post is created. It should show you new uh, new data. Now, for the last one that I will show you today is I will show you patch, essentially updating any data. Now, this one is a custom request and also delete is a custom request, but this one's very similar. Patch, you go to the URL, the same as before, you got the server, you got the FMI, OData version 4, OData, and clients. And then you set the primary key that you want changed. Now, instead, you will have to set up a JSON, which is simple, two brackets, and then you put what the field is and what you want to replace it as. You're going to say, Greg, test. Then afterwards, you do basic authorization. And then every time you make a custom request, you need to do a content type for application and JSON. And then when you test it, it should show the new change. And that is how you set up OData onto your FileMaker file. There are many other 
things you can do with this. You can edit tables, you can filter, uh, depending on with a patch or say if you were doing a get, you can search specific things, specific parameters. But that's all I will go through for now.